What's poppin' guys? Welcome back to another episode of Fletcher the Fisherman. Today, we're going on another pond hopping mission. Unfortunately, the weather has changed for us pretty drastically. It went from like the mid 70s back into the low 50s and it is nice and rainy as well. So these fish might push off, get a little lethargic and be a little bit tougher to catch today, but that is okay. I actually just got back from Lake Murray. I was up there fishing the Big Bass Challenge hosted by Luz and Strike King with A-Dub. We fished a practice day and the actual tournament day and we had a great time. We didn't actually win anything. The way that like the tournament was structured was that you had to catch like a top five big fish in each like weigh period and basically you had to catch a five pounder to win anything like pretty much every single fish was between like four and a half and five pounds that I actually placed for something and we had never fished the lake before and I actually tried to film a video for it I just had lost some footage and I just didn't really like the way everything came together uh, I was super tired I only got like an hour of sleep before the tournament and I was just pretty out of it so I decided to scrap the whole thing but I'm gonna go ahead and show a few little quick highlight clips from the tournament really quick Something just pulled on my drop shot, pulled, reeling it in. Really? Yeah. Oh. Nah, I think it was a... Oh, yeah, I did have one. Did you want it? Yeah. Shoot. I thought that was the dock. That actually might have been a good one, dude. It, <laughs> I thought I hit wood. <laughs> Unless he got ripped off by something that wasn't a fish. Got him. Oh, nah. Hey, he broke the ice finally. No, definitely not. <laughs> I'll get them off. There, this could be the small one though. There could be a bigger one on that bet or uh, on that spot. That's exactly where I got that bite earlier. That's not a bad fish, dude. That's what we found it. No, definitely not. First fish of the day, guys. Absolutely choke that thing. Let's see if I can get this out without pliers, but. We had an opportunity to catch a fish right here in the same spot earlier. I missed it. And I don't know if this is a bedding fish or not, but there was definitely, I mean, he was literally in the exact same spot I got a bite earlier. So there could be a big female hanging out in there as well. Let's go ahead and release this guy right back on in. There she goes. Oh, there's I mean, try at it a few times if you want. Try to catch the thickest bitch in the sea. Oh! <laughs> there we go. It's a better one. Uh, you know, a, one in some. I don't think she's two. No, I can I can throw her on the scale. But I don't think she's two. I hooked that fish right as I want to catch the thickest b in the sea. <laughs> Hook set. Two four. Well, we don't think this one's gonna cut it for any way in period today, so we're just gonna go ahead and let her go. Nice little fish. Oh, there's a couple right here. You see these dude? This one, this one's decent right here. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I just saw one, and there's two right here. That one was like three. There's two right here locked on, dude, and they're like actually like four pounds. You see them? Oh yeah, oh yeah, that is a nice one. There's two of them right there. They're both good. Yeah, these are these are fish that are catchable. They're locked hard. Yeah. Look, they're already. Oh, they're looking at you. They're they were looking at you. There it is. Nice. That's the male. Put her in the box. Uh, two, do something. This fish back here is by itself. Yeah, I, I haven't seen the other one. And this one's locked too. I think we can catch that one too. Is that illegal if you hooked one in the side of the face and put it back? 
Nice. There it is. That's a good one, dude. Yeah. That's a good one. Yes, sir. That's a good, that's a good one. Three seven. Three eight. I know that wasn't much, but hopefully y'all enjoyed those quick little clips. If y'all want to see me actually fish a tournament uh, sometime, let me know down in the comments below. I want to definitely do some of that in the future with the channel. You know, I had a blast going out there and fishing that, and I had fished one other tournament in the past, um, and I'll put a link for that down in the description below. It's actually like this like Santa Claus thing. So if y'all want to see some more of that, just let me know. But anyways, guys, I have about a 10, 15 minute drive to the pond and I will catch y'all when we get there. Do I have one? Oh, I do, first cast. <laughs> With the lipless, I caught a micro. I don't even know if it's a bass. I don't know what it is <laughs> it's a tiny little guy that's it is a bass that's one way to start it's just a little baby Suze loves the baby bass <laughs> would you like to hold him there you go oh my gosh. he's so little <laughs> these Put are my favorite this is my goal is to catch one this size you want to catch one that size yeah. Screw the big ones? Yep, I want the tiniest. <laughs> well, let them go. Good job. <laughs> well, that was a good sign, guys. First cast with a new rod, new bait. I like that. I like that. We got to up our size a little bit, but hey, I'll take the good luck. Well, guys, let's get this thing back out there and chuck this thing super far out into this pond see if we can't find ourselves another one i kind of want to like work over towards that rocky bank over there i feel like straight off out in front of that there's a pretty good chance we might find some fish you know this is very similar conditions to last time i came out here you know a few days past the full moon the fish should be pushed up like up into the shallow i mean this is really you know there's not much to this pond it's basically like four to five feet all the way across and you know over there it gets shallower but this is kind of like a really gradual you know sandy flat that is great for spawning so you know the fish seem to kind of push up that direction when they're ready for that so i'm excited to take a few casts over there in a moment but let's fish this area thoroughly and see if we can't find ourselves another This is where I figured they might be, is off of this bank. You know, not right up on it, but yeah, you know, 30, 40 feet. There's one, you got one, yes sir. Come on in here, right out in front of that tree. Fish number three. <laughs> Let's go, and it feels like he's bigger than the last. You know, we keep getting bigger and bigger. That's a nice one. Let's go. Yes, sir. That's a, that's a solid chunk right there. This dude choked that thing. Oh my gosh. That is how you want him to eat it every single time. One quick thing to note, you notice how he ate this thing head first. What you'll find most of the time with any kind of like, you know, moving fish profile lure, they'll always eat the bait head first. And that's so, you know, when they eat it, the fins, like if it was a real bait fish, you know, if they try to eat it coming in back first, all these fins kind of poke up and will poke the fish in the throat. So they try to eat bait head first like that. And that's how it is done, baby. Let's go. Let's keep them coming. There we go. Yeah. Did you have a bite? Yeah, right there. Good. I 
Yeah, they're chasing. I've seen a few swirl like right at the bank, which is really good. You know, if they're gonna be aggressive and chase this stuff down and eat it like this, it should be a good day. I'm hoping we can get a nice one. Oh gosh, I got smoked right there at the bank. Yeah, he hit it right there. There we go. Oh gosh, dang it. Oh, I just missed one. Oh, he freaking smacked it too. The second I dropped it right there. Oh. Oh, there we go. Got him. Hammered it. Absolutely hammered it, guys. Holy smokes. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, yes. <laughs> Holy. I switched over to the red lipless instead of the, uh, you know, the shad colored one I was using earlier because the bites stopped coming. And I figured, you know, change up the color, change up the rattle sound that tungsten you know one i was using that two tap has a big knocker in it this one is more rattly and seemed to do the trick came back over here to the same area where i had some luck and smacked one right away let's get it love getting thumped man hammer the absolute piss out of that thing goodness gracious Accidentally backlash there, trying to of trying to avoid the tree. Another one, another one. The switch up was the move. Let's go. This one feels like it's got a little bit more size to it too. Oh yeah, definitely does. Definitely has some more size. Goodness gracious, that's three fish out of the same spot. <laughs> let's get it. Oh baby, let's go. Let's go. Gosh, he's trying to dog me right there. Get him up on the bank. <laughs> that's the best one so far. That's a freaking fatty, man. That is a fat bass. That's a high three. Shoot, that one could even go four with how fat he is. Good golly. Hard to beat a red eye shad, man. You know, in that crawl color. Springtime, baby. Let's go. It's the reason these baits have been so popular for so long, and that is just because they flat out catch fish. Got it out of there. Let's take a look at that one. Heck yeah, man. I don't think she's quite for it, but that is a very healthy three pounder. She is high threes, probably, you know, three and three quarters. Oh, what up, Seuss? You're back? Yeah, got him right there. I literally have had no luck since you left and, and like the last three casts I've caught two fish. <laughs> yeah, this one's pushing, uh, you know, close to four. Let's go ahead and get her back in. Oh, she swims. Oh, thank you. Oh, shoot, man. I love to see this kind of action. Got a little bit of backlash there. Let's pick that out and get this thing cranking again. See if we can't find ourselves a freaking fatty. I would love to catch one five plus. 
What do you say? Keep on reeling. Come over here and try. Oh, did you see that? Look at that, it's one just chased it up. I was just trying to reel it back in fast. One literally came up and tried to eat it. You got one? Nice. Nice, Suze. Let me get this out of the way. Oh, you got a nice one too. Good job. Finally, look at that. I think that might be the best one all day. Take your time with them, babe. Take okay. your time. Can we keep reeling them? Yeah, yeah, just let them, give them, give them some time. Just give them some time. I'll get them for you. Nice, babe. That's a good one. Oh yeah, look at that chunk. Did you just get it with a steady retrieve? Yeah, I slowed it down. I think that Yeah, you were reeling way too fast. Slowed it down and look at that. You got yourself a nice fatty. <laughs> I think goodness. You want to get it out for you? Yeah, I'll let you go ahead and do that for me. Is that bigger than the other two you've caught? Uh, this is definitely uh, cl close to the biggest. I think the one I just caught was a little bit bigger than this one, but that is oh definitely the second best. Look at you. All right, nice. <laughs> awesome, babe. I was like, thank goodness I at least caught one today. I know. It's I been a rough day. I know. You said you kept getting bites, so uh, you know they finally paid off. Let her go. Off she goes. Well, nice. Good job. Well guys, I hope y'all enjoyed that one. Me and Suze had a blast out there. We caught some nice fish despite, you know, the cold weather and all that. And Suze actually got a really nice one there at the end, so props to her. But if you enjoyed it, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. But as always, fasten this passion. Peace.